Right then, pluckers, welcome back to another lesson from me, uh, Ivor Sawfingers. <laughs> and this is going to be part three of my lessons on Nibram from the Shadows. Okay, so to take up where we left off in part two, we came out of the second verse, and the rhythm guitar is just um, vamping on G for two bars, like. <laughs> before going into the next section of the song, which is the bit that goes uh, that bit of there, okay? So after he's done uh, the rhythm guitar bit, is do eight beats on G after the verse two. And then we go up to a B major chord, and plays as a bar chord in my case. You could play it just as an F shape on the seventh fret, I'm playing it as a bar chord, okay? And it's the same sort of vamping, sort of strike, downstroke, release the pressure, put the pressure back, downstroke, as you've done with all the other chords so far in this song, right? So it's right. So it's do 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 do. So it's like two bars again on each chord, and we go down to B flat, the sixth fret major shape bar chord. Do 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 do. Down to the A fifth fret major shape bar chord. Do 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 do. And then we do a single stroke on the D seven that we've been using in the verse section. Same chord. Do a bit of a pause, and then do do. Do 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 do. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. That sort of thing. And then we're off into another verse again. Do 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 do. Exactly the same as usual. Okay. For the third verse. So, um, so what we do for the lead bit? Right. So when it comes out of that um, eight by eight beats of the uh, G chord. Lead comes in with this, right? Right. So what am I doing there? So it's 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 like based on a, a D shape chord, okay? But I'm actually playing a B chord, um, and I'm starting up on the thirteenth fret of the fourth string, the D string, and it goes to then goes to the eleventh fret of the third string. Then we go to the 12th fret of the 2nd string. And then we go to the 11th fret of the top E string. Okay. Got that. So 13 on 4, 11 on 3, 12 on 2, 10, oh sorry, 11 on uh, top E string. Right, so. And then you go back to the 12th fret of the 2nd string and then finish up on the 11th fret of the 3rd. So that's a... Right, so you've got... You've got that da, 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 ba. So that's 12 on the top 2nd um, string and 11 on the 3rd. And then you do exactly, all you do then is just go down a whole position and repeat the whole sequence. So this time it's down on, starts on the 12th fret of the 4th string, to the 10th fret of the 3rd, to the 11th on the 2nd, to the 10th on the uh, top E, and then to the 11th on the 2nd, and finishes on the 10th fret of the 3rd. And then we go down again, okay? So now we're on the 11th fret of the 4th, to the 9th fret of the 3rd, to the 10th fret of the 2nd, to the 9th fret of the top E, back to the 10th on the 2nd, and we finish on the 9th on the 3rd. It's exactly the same sequence, moving down one fret at a time, okay? so. So that's that slow 
do. And finally, we've got this little, um, little sort of uh, nice little fast, quite fast riff. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing there? So this is um, the it starts on the fifth fret of the fifth string, the A string, then goes to the fourth fret of the uh, fourth string, and then I use my pinky to go up to the seventh fret of the fourth string. Okay, so okay, All right. And then we got the, after that, we go to the 5th fret on the 3rd, to the 7th fret on the 3rd. So we go. Right. And then we've got this a little bit. That's 6 on the 2nd uh, string, to 7, 6 to 7. And then we finish on the uh, top string, 5th. B string fifth fret. So okay, so now you got right slowly, slowly even slower. Okay, and then we finish off by doing this, which is octaves. Okay. What I'm doing, how I'm doing it, is I'm first finger is playing the seventh fret of the third string, and my pinky is fretting the tenth fret of the top E string, and I'm just basically aiming at the top three strings. This first finger will bend over slightly and mute the second string, so the second string is muted. So you can go all the way down from three downwards. Really, you're only, hear, you're only hearing the third string and the top E string because you've muted the second string with your bending over first finger. Okay, so the whole thing from the lead part on this bit is. Phrasing on this bit can be as, as you want, it can be, you can sort of put, which, which, you can sort of put little gaps in it if you want, but so long as your timing's right, but it's basically. And do three of those on that uh, octave bit. Okay, so that's it, have a play with that. And then we go straight into a third verse, which is exactly the same as what you've done before, right? Okay, and then obviously it comes the, um, the free three hand bit, so to speak, okay, which is uh, a little bit tricky, which we move on to in the next lesson, okay? So you only got that bit. After you've done the fancy bit, a little little bit, um, there's another verse, and then the ending. Okay, so uh, so you've done most of it. You've just got to learn that little solo next, I think. Okay, that'll be part four, the final part, hopefully. So see you then. Bye for now.